Hey, I'm going to show you how to make a bandsaw reindeer. Guys, Jeff Roski here at Made a Thing um, from Varro Industries or, you know, whatever we're calling the channel. We're working on some ideas still, so please follow along. I know <clears throat> it is almost June 1st, which means it's summertime. <clears throat> but today, because we're finally putting away all of our final Christmas decorations, because it took us till now, it's been a busy year. Um, and, uh... Um, so while we're doing so, I thought to make a quick video. How to make a bandsaw reindeer. One of these things. Very simple, very straightforward, and very cool to give out as gifts. They sell really easily, especially if you make them from reclaimed wood or give them unique colors and stuff like that. Very simple product. So today we're going to do a bandsaw reindeer in the middle of summer. Or late spring, early summer. That thing. All right. So first things first, we need to make a template. Now you can go online and Google bandsaw reindeer and you'll find hundreds of templates out there. Um, I already have made one before, so I'm gonna make my own template um, through the most America notebook folder that you've ever seen. This used to be my dad's, he got it in like the 60s. This thing's fantastic, it's got a panther in it. And it's just, look at that. It's just ridiculously awesome. Um, so for sentimental reasons, I keep it around. This is my father's. So now, all I'm gonna do is take my reindeer that I already have, and I'm going to outline it. Like I said, you can go online and get templates for these things anywhere. It's a very common pattern to do on the bandsaw, and they sell really easy at shows and stuff like that. So that's it, that's our pattern. It's not pretty, but doesn't need to be. All right, so now that I have that basic shape, I'm just gonna do a quick cutout of this with an X-Acto knife just to make it a little bit smaller. Nothing needs to be exact here for this. All right, I just want a smaller piece of paper to work with. That's all. So there's my template. And now I just need to choose a piece of wood for my template. These are far too thin. What have we got here? <coughs> what? Let's use a piece of pallet wood. Bring it back around here. Ignore this, that's another project. There we go, there we go. Fits almost perfectly, in fact. I'll just keep it like that. What I'm gonna do, however, just take this over the chop saw and cut it to sack down to size. So you can actually see it, here it is. I'm gonna take it over to the chop saw and cut it down to size. There we go, I'm just get this lined up over here. That's actually where I want the top of the ears to be, so perfect. There we go. So now my template goes right to the top and to the bottom of this. Pretty sweet, so actually, let's go ahead and take, go grab my X-Acto again and just recut it back down to size and also find the tape I'm looking for, which is right here. Now, I would normally do this with, um, like just some Super 77 general spray adhesive. Um, however, that is at the shop shop. And so, I don't have any on hand at the moment. So, I'm just going to use clear scotch tape. I just need to do a bunch of these. Yeah, it doesn't need to be pretty, doesn't need to be perfect. Just needs to get on there. Get stuck your finger as well. Make sure I'm cutting this, and it stays on right there. I'm do a couple lengthwise strips. You can also do this with double-sided sticky tape. However, you can get your template on your piece of wood is the way you should do it, and whatever you're most comfortable with. All right, so there we go. It is now stuck to my piece of wood. Now let's take it over to the bandsaw. And right, here we are over the bandsaw. I'm gonna turn on my light so we can see what we're doing here. And I need to drop 
my blade guard down so I don't have as much drift. Now you can do cut a new zero clearance plate or something like that if you want, but you know, again, it doesn't need to be exact. It's a, it's a reindeer. Um, so let's get cutting. Come on. After the hook of my dust collection. Uno momento, por favor. Can you guys even see that on there? Not too washed out. There we go. Let's try that. All right. So this is what we got. We got a head with some weird stuff going on. I got some split wood back here that I need to reaffix later. So that's fun. Um, and then I need to clean that up there. So for that, I'm gonna make use of my spindle sander. But uh, let me change up the thing first. All right, now I got the spindle sander. And fire it up. This is a piece of shoe, shoe rubber. And it gets all the gunk out. And it cleans the blade up super nice. Just have to clean up the edges and I'm gonna glue this so let me glue this into place and then we'll touch base again real quick one thing I'm doing is blowing all the sawdust away uh, it's taking some of that sawdust and putting it in with some of the glue there to help kind of fill in that joint because there's a big gap that ended up appearing there so basically making your own wood filler with the dust that you have from the wood it's not gonna look perfect now not with this big of a gap, but it'll be fine for demonstration purposes. For that, I'm just going to use a super small clamp and just kind of barely hold that together. There we go. And that's that. So let's leave that sit and then uh, we'll come back when it's dry. And welcome back folks. It's been, I don't know, an hour-ish maybe. Um, so anyways, um, coming back to our bandsaw reindeer here. Um, the glue has mostly set. I'm gonna let it cure a little bit more, but here you go. Um, see, this is the joint we cleaned up here. It's not pretty, it looks ugly. But again, it's just a piece of pallet wood. Um, and I was doing this just to show a quick demo of how easy it is to make one of these things. And all this thing needs is a quick little sand, 
get off all the nasties around the edges there. Who wants a splinter, especially if you're giving this as a gift. But yeah, there you go. Super quick bandsaw reindeer. This video is about 10 minutes, but most of it's me talking. These are super easy to make. And as I mentioned, I had a larger blade um, on my uh, bandsaw over here. Um, so the corners were a little bit tougher to get to, uh, which I could remedy with my spindle sander here. Not a problem. But um, uh, you could easily put a thinner blade on there. I have a super thin, like eighth of an inch thick um, blade that's uh, uh, that would be easy to get in there and it wouldn't stall as much. Uh, but there you go. Easy bandsaw reindeer. Now you can make them for gifts. So if you're looking for somebody for Christmas gifts, might as well start making them now. It's also craft fair season. So if you want to start selling some, you can easily do that too. Sell them for a few bucks or whoever you want to sell them for. Um, I have some like uh, this one here is made of this gorgeous old reclaimed wood. This one's going to sell a lot more than the one I made out of a piece of um, pallet wood. Uh, just because this came from old barn wood. This is from a pallet. A lot thinner, but still, bands on reindeer. Hit the buttons, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Tell your friends. Um, don't really have any posting schedule, which we're adhering to. We're still getting this thing kicked off. Um, but uh, hopefully, we're going to have a lot more instructional videos for you, show you some more cool stuff. We're going to make more things, and you should make things as well. So stay safe. Love you guys. There you go. It's over here. I really need to figure out where the camera is. It's right there. Um, <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.